needs to go back. She can't. She can't. It won't open. Why won't it open? Why won't it open? There's another challenge. There's another challenge. She has a challenge. Set. The Northmen say that in the beginning there was nothing but darkness. Bitter cold to the north, fiery hot to the south. They say the cold formed ice, which melted from the sparks from the south. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice, and the first giant was born, and was named Emir. The ice continued to drip, and the power of the void gave life to it, and it became a cow whose milk fed the giant. That's right, a cow, but you weren't expecting that. from a land older than mankind. And the Northmen call upon his flaming sword to raise their enemies to the ground. Find him, Senua. And spill his blood. She found the wretched old fool on her way back from the wilds. The Northmen tell this story. Before the Earth was created, there was a world called Muspel. Because it was in the south, it was bright and hot, flaming, burning. Sparks that flew out from Muspel became the stars. Other sparks melted ice in the frozen world of Niflheim, creating the body of the first giant, Ymir. Muspel is one of the nine worlds, and is now the land of the fire giant.
burning human flesh. <laughs> and I still hear their cries carried in the wind. Do you hear them too, Senna? Yes, yes, I heard their screams. And I still hear them now. The hell hand is sealed for the living, but you already walk amongst the dead. Look towards the gate, and you will see that it has opened. Get out! Uh, 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 uh
gate of Surt, know that only a sacrifice will stoke the fires of Muspel that the dead walk through. Find the fire, Senua, to follow the path to Surt. say that the defender of Muspel is called Surt, the foremost of the fire giants. His name means the Black One, because he is like something burnt. The Northmen believe that he sits at the border of Muspel with his flaming sword, and at the end of the world he will leave his post. He will travel to Asgard and Midgard, waging war against all the gods. He will be victorious, and then burn the whole world with fire. Find the fire, Senua, to follow the path to Surt. It's too far. She'll never find it. She'll never make her way back. She needs to remember the way back. What happens when she finds it? Everything will burn. Concentrate, concentrate on where you're going. She needs to remember the path. Everything will burn, then how will she find the way back? <laughs> she won't. She won't be able to tell. The Northmen believe that the world will be destroyed someday. They call it Ragnarok, the destiny of the gods. Asgard will be attacked by Surt and the fire giants. A monstrous wolf will swallow the sun and the gods will fight in vain against their enemies. There is nothing they can do to prevent it. But Odin ever seeks knowledge and magic. Sacrifices, burning slaves like me to reveal the path to Surt. I searched for meaning in their suffering, in their eyes. But they just screamed like helpless pigs. Oh, my God. 
gods answer your prayers, Senua. I asked the gods for mercy, all of them, even theirs. None answered. In the end, I set myself free. Defy the gods, Senua! Find your own path, like I find mine! My gods abandoned me! I am alone. Insatiable gods of darkness. I come from Eren, Senua, where I once followed my own gods, the Tuatha de Danann. Why did you abandon your gods? Senua, I was a man of knowledge, not a warrior. To survive, I did things. Bad things. Like you, Senua. The man I once was has died. And when that happens, even gods you worship can die with you.
No, I see nothing. 